Today we are going to solve a question in binomial theorem. The question is, the sum of the series lies in which interval? The series is, k is varying from 0 to 10, 1 upon 2 raised to power 10, the binomial coefficient 10ck multiplied by k square. And it's given that the four options starting with 26 to 30, it lies in which region? So, first of all, I'm going to use this formula, nck. nck can be written as n by k multiplied by n minus 1 into c k minus 1 here. Why I mentioned this? Because I'm going to start with this formula only. See, 1 upon 2 raised to power 10 is a constant, so it will come outside. There's no problem. We'll get this as summation. K is varying from... Uh, I'm going to apply the formula in 10CK here. So I'll get this as uh, 10 by K, as you can see. And we'll get this as 9CK minus 1. And then multiplied by K square. As you can see, K will vary from... If, see, k cannot vary from 0 because this will be negative. So, k has to vary from 1 to 10 here because I've changed, I've applied this formula. So, here k and k will cancel out. Remaining is, I'll write here, 1 upon 2 raised to power 10 multiplied by. We'll get this as summation. k is varying from 1 to, you can see, 10. Remaining is uh, 10 times. 10 will come outside as it is. Remaining is, uh, you can say here, 9 c k minus 1. Now, k is remaining here. Now, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to apply the formula. Since I want to cancel k minus 1, k minus 1. Because if I again apply the formula, k minus 1 will come in denominator. So, that means here I have to subtract 1 and add 1 here. Now, I'm going to segregate both of them. This multiplied by 9c k minus 1 and 1 multiplied by 9c k minus 1. So, I'll get this as 10 or you can say 5 upon 2 raised to power 9 multiplied by. Let's apply the formula here. We'll get this as first of all, we'll get this as summation 8ck minus you can say 2. Why? Because I have, again I have applied the formula, so 9 will be outside here as you can see, and the k will vary from 2 to 10 here. Plus the new one is 9ck multiplied by 1. So as it is, we'll get this as summation k is varying from 1 to 10, and we'll get this as 9ck minus 1 here. Now let's write the sum. So here we'll get this as 5 upon 2 raised to power 9, as you can see. Remaining, I'll write here. So 9 into, I think this is 2 raised to power 8. Because this sum is 2 raised to power 8. If we calculate the sum of binomial coefficient, 8c0, 8c1, 8c2, and so on. If we calculate that, you'll get this as 2 raised to power, there's no problem in that. Plus, the next sum is, this is the sum of the binomial coefficient, 9c0, 9c2, 9c1, 9c. Till 9c9, it will be equal to 2 raised to power 9. I'll give you a short region here. If you expand 1 plus x whole raised to power n, you'll get this as nc0 plus nc1 plus so on till nc1 into x plus so on till ncn x to power n. Suppose you want the binomial sum coefficient, you put x is equal to 1, automatically you'll get nc0, nc1 till ncn. So the same logic I'm using here, it's just nothing but the sum of coefficients are written, binomial coefficient. So you can put x is equal to 1 and you can write this as 2 raised to power 8 and the next one will be 2 raised to power 9. And let's do the calculation here. So I think I can take 2 raised to power 8 outside. So we'll get this as 2 raised to power 8 multiplied by 5 upon 2 raised to power 9. Remaining I'll write here. Remaining inside is I think 9 plus 2 is 11 here. So answer will be here. Answer will be uh, I think 2 raised to power 8, 2 raised to power 9 will cancel out. We'll get this as 55 divided by 2. That is 27.5, the sum of the series. Now let's check the option. The sum of the series lies in which interval? So I think B option will be correct because the sum is 27.5 and the answer lies in this interval. And that will be all.